गुड आफ्टरनून एवरी वन माई सेल्फ मिसेस नेहा रोहित पारिंगे असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर फ्रॉम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ आई टी सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी द पर्टिकुलर टॉपिक दैट इज लूप्स इन सी प्लस प्लस फर्स्टली वी विल सी वाई वी विल रिक्वायर दिस लूप्स इन सी प्लस प्लस सो कंटेन वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी टूडे इज वाई वी नीड लूप वाई लूप वट इज वाई लूप एंड वट इज डू वाई लूप सो फर्स्टली वी विल सी वाई वी एक्चुअली रिक्वायर दिस लूप्स so basically before this we have studied the decision statement like if statement if else statement and so on so in a if statement and if else statement you will get only two alternative options that either true or false statement you can present but if you need to present multiple alternative multiple options if you want to uh, display or you can say repetitive action if you want to show then you have to use the concept of loops so what actually this loop concept does is loop statement allows everyone to execute the multiple statements or a statements in a multiple time so as you can see in this particular diagram whatever the condition is given over here if that condition is true then particular conditional code is get displayed so until and unless the true condition gets Uh, particularly true then only this conditional code is get printed when this condition is get false your program will get end so this is basically happen in loop so here you can particularly multiple options or multiple solutions you particularly present now here first loop we are going to study here we are going to study two loops the first one is a while loop while loop statement repeatedly executes a target statement as long as the given condition is true so here what we exactly going to do is the one condition is there until and unless that condition is true the your particular statements under those condition is get pr printed so suppose here you can see in this flow chart the condition is true the code block whatever the statements are there that is get printed until and unless this condition gets false so for suppose for example you can say the condition is a uh, greater than 20 and the value for a is 10 so a is greater than 20 this condition is false because 10 is greater than 20 this condition is false so that time your program gets cancelled so this is what the what happened in while loop until and unless the given condition is false you will get the particular output now we will see what is the syntax of while loop so while loop syntax is first you have to write the keyword while followed by the condition which you want to be printed and the next is statement so until and unless this condition is true your statements or one statement or multiple statement gets printed once this condition gets false what happened that your statement will not get printed your program will get terminated so this is what happened in syntax so statements jo hai that statement can be a single statement or block of statement and condition is a one kind of expression so when the condition become false this program control passes to the line immediately following the loop it means your program gets end over here now we'll see what is the example for this file while loop now you can see here one of the example which is shown to print number from 1 to 10 so here initially we have taken we have particularly library we have declared here and then in a main function first we have declared one variable that is the initial value of the variable that is 1 so first 1 is the value for a now we will write the condition that while a is less than or equal to 10 so condition will be 1 is less than or equal to 10 this condition is true so until and unless this condition is true the statement value of now what is the value for a that is 1 so value of 1 a 1 is get printed now the increment operator is applied on a that is a plus plus now 1 will become 2 like this as 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 get printed once the value for a is 10 it will get checked now what it will check that particularly 
10 is less than or equal to 10. So now this condition is again true. So value of A is 10 and that is get lastly printed. Now again the value of A that is 10 plus plus will become 11. So now you can say A is equal to 11. Now the condition is A is equal to 11. So 11 is less than or equal to 10. This condition is like this. Now this condition comes as false. So this program will not or this particular cursor will not go inside the block. Now it will get terminated with the result. So you will get the output by printing numbers from 1 to 10. So this is all about the while loop that in a while loop when the condition gets false the, your program will get terminated until and unless your condition is false. Now next the next type we are going to see is do while loop. Now what is do while loop? Do while in a do while loop firstly one state at least one statement gets printed or one at least one output gets printed. Okay, so before that we will see what is the flow chart. So here you can see the condition is there. If the condition is true, then code block is get printed and same if it is false, then the particular particular program will get end. So here as you can see, unlike for while and while loop and for loop, which test the loop condition at the top of the loop, the do while loop checks this condition at the bottom of the loop. So firstly, yeah, what, what will happen here that do condition will check means one, one first particular statement will get printed and then whatever the while loop condition is that is get checked. So at least one statement for the output gets printed. So this is what basically happen in do while loop. So let's take a view at syntax. So first syntax of while loop is what that do statement while loop condition. Now as you can see firstly at least one statement is getting printed in the do while loop and then the condition is get checked. So suppose a is equal to 10 this is the value then that value first get, get printed and then the condition whatever the condition is followed by is there by uh, keyword while is get checked. So at least one output we will get in do while loop. So see the example for do while loop. Here is the library we have presented. Now in a main function we have declared the one variable that is local variable and the value for local variable is one. Now in a do fun uh, do uh, function what we have written that see out value of a that is a this program is same for printing the numbers from 1 to 10 now value of a what is the value for of a that is 1 so that will get printed next a is equal to a plus 1 that is a is equal to what is the value for a 1 1 plus 1 so it will become 2 now the a ka value is 2 so now again we will check the value for Again now we will check the condition which is followed by the while keyword. Now a what is the value for a that is 2. 2 is less than or equal to 10. 2 is less than or equal to 10 that is that condition is true. Again we will go here and check in a do condition see out value of a is 2. What is the value of a? So that will get printed like this until and unless the a a will become 11 that until and unless that condition comes false we will get printed this particular loop. So when you want to present a multiple iteration or multiple operation if you want to show that time you can use this looping statement. So there are three types of loop that is for loop, while loop and do while loop as we have already studied the for loop now today we have completed the topic that is while loop and do while loop. Thank you students.